Hello YouTube, this is Dan from RetroTowers.co.uk. In this video I'll be showing you what the EverDrive N8 can do and I'll, and I'll be using an AV modded Famicom. This will also work on all other Famicoms that are made by Nintendo and the Nintendo Entertainment System, European and American ones, as long as you have the Famicom to NES adapter. It also might work on some clones, but I'm not too sure because the parts, the parts that they use to make clones, they change them around all the time, so a clone made a year ago that has the exact same name as one made yesterday uh, would possibly have completely different parts inside it so it's really hard making a device that will work for clones so what is it? the EverDrive N8 is a flash cart that you can put games on it like Geki Tor, Puroresu, Torkon, Densetsu and Solar Jetman and any other Famicom game and Nintendo Entertainment System game you can, get, you can download the ROM file for them put them on an SD card and then put that SD card inside the EverDrive N8 and you can just play the game on off your system without actually owning the game but I wouldn't recommend doing it that way but that's the way you can do I would recommend just using it to back up the games that you already own so when they do inevitably break you have a backup so you'll still be able to play your favourite awesome games once again even after they break not every single game is supported but there will be a, a huge number of games that are supported and not only this but there will also be some ROM hacks that work so, but the thing about ROM hacks is most, well, a lot of them were made for use with the emulator, and he will never expect them to actually work with the original hardware. So you'll probably have a higher rate of games not working that are ROM hacks than the real games. But there will still be a few ROM hacks that definitely will work. To set it up and get it all working, all you need is a 4GB micro SD card. Uh, but the only problem with this is a lot of 4GB micro SD cards that you buy from shops are really only 3.8GB or even less than that. So what I recommend everyone to do is buy a micro SD card that is more than 4 gigabytes, so say 5 gigabytes or 6 gigabytes or something just higher than 4 because then it's much more likely that it will be over 4 in real real life so then you'll be able to uh, download the operating system for the EverDrive N8 and then uh, get some ROMs and start playing. And there are two different types of EverDrive N8s that you can buy. You can buy one that is just the PCB bareboard form with no shell around it, no protection against static shocks, water or anything like that. The benefit of this is it's cheaper and it still works 100% just like the one with the shell but the only problem is the lack of protection. But what you can do is take apart a Famicom game that you don't really like that much that has a nice coloured shell that you like and then take that game apart and put the PCB board inside of that game uh, drill a hole where the micro SD card goes in and then you have a EverDrive N8 with a shell but you only paid the price for an EverDrive N8 PCB board the only thing is you have to put a little bit of effort into doing that and then just stick a sticker on when it's done so yeah that, that's, that's really it, that's the only benefit of buying one with a shell is it saves you the effort of doing it yourself yeah I'm only going to be using this with games that I own physical copies of in real life so if you so for this video I'm only going to be showing you these two games. Uh, you know, select and start, so I press B to select and start, so it's B on the game and B to select and start anyway. That's beautiful. Okay, so that was an example of a Japanese Famicom game. Anyway, I'm going to turn this one off now, and I'm going to do um, a different game this time. So as you can see, now we've got uh, so Geki to oh, I've done that one. Solar Jetman. This is uh, the game, this game for the NES. I don't know how popular this game is because I don't really know anyone else that has this game, but it's a pretty good game. I'm not sure if it is obscure or not, but oh, hey, okay, oops. 
Yeah, so pressing start will load the game that you just played. So you've got to press B on the game, then B again to actually load it up. So for example, we're going to Solo Jetman. Here we are, press B on the game, and then select and start, select and start, we are, select and start, press B again. And now we're loading it. It's a bit obscure. Oh, well, it's probably rare actually. Okay, can't be that obscure then. Rare. <laughs> The music is so good for this. No, that's basically the idea of the game. But anyway, you get the idea. That's basically how the game works. Anyway, um... Alright, thanks for watching this video. Thanks for getting this far in the video. Uh, if you like this, please hit the like button. Uh, favorite the video, subscribe to this channel, uh, check out retrotowers.co.uk, see what products we have for sale like this and similar to this uh, beautiful cartridge here. Uh, or you can uh, like our Facebook page at facebook.com slash retro T-O-W. Um, thanks for watching. It's been fun making this video and I'll see you again in a future video. I really hope so.